everyone, so it is Sam here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Luwait bracelet that I designed. So here's what the bracelet looks like. I really, really like it. My opinion looks so cute. So it's pretty long, actually. Kind of, but of course you're still going to be needing an extension, but it's long enough to take a picture of it. So here's just what the bracelet looks like. It is pretty hard to focus on camera. I don't know, it cannot, got the, it cannot get the focusing point onto it so I actually designed this bracelet a long time ago but not that long but quite long it's I haven't been making a tutorial for it it's because I have new designs that I maybe just say I don't like better so I kind of forgot to do a tutorial on this one but today I finally am and so yeah so for today we're going to be needing a loom a hook and a C clip so first, you're going to be grabbing the bands that you want for the white bands on this bracelet. Today, I'm going to be using wet as well. So I'm going to be going outwards on both sides. And this time, it's not going to be a normal border. As you can see, it's not like straight forward. So what you're going to be doing now is you're actually going to like go forwards on the right side. But you're going to be going inwards on the left side. Now you're going to go outwards from the direction that you just went inwards, and from the other side you're going to go inwards. Now you're going to go upwards on that one, like that on that one, upwards again. And you're basically, this is the pattern that you're going to make, so front and make a V facing the other side, the outside, I meant, and front again. So you're like, just like hexagons all the way up. It's so simple. So it's going to be showing you one side, then you're going to repeat the same thing to the other side. So on the top part, you're just going to close and close. So now I'm going to be um, grabbing the color for the black band. So today I'm going to be alternating colors with Sunkiss and also this color that is not officially branded, so yeah. So first, I'm just going to start from the bottom, and you're going to grab your first color, and you're just going to go forwards. And you're going to grab that same color if you want a different one, and go like that, and like that. One section is complete. You're going to need three bands for a section, and you're going to go forwards, like that, and like that. Now I'm going to grab three more bands, and I'm going to go forwards, like that, and that. Twisted. You know how I hate twisted bands so much. Well, actually, I'm twisting the bands on this bracelet. Isn't it hard to do? So you're basically going to be repeating this process all the way up until your ear reach. Wait, your ear reach? Sorry. I meant until you reach the top of your limb. And I'll be back once I'm done. So for the last one, you're just going to grab a band and go forward. Now you're going to go back to the bottom and you're just basically going to be making a capping band there. So now I'm going to be going in the capping band and I'm going to be grabbing the top band and I'm going to be looping it forwards. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looping both of the border bands outwards and outwards. Now I'm just going to be looping this band inwards. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to push it down and I'm going to grab this band and loop it inwards and then I'm going to be looping forwards this band and then I'm going to be looping that band inwards as well. And then you're going to go in everything and you're going to grab that for that sun kiss band Oops. and you're just going to loop it forwards and you're going to go in everything and go to the very bottom and loop it outwards. After that, you're just going to be looping the span inwards, normally inwards, and then you're going to be looping the span inwards and forwards, then inwards again, then you're going to always be looping the span forwards first before looping this one. After you loop that one, you may loop that one, then you're going to be looping this very very bottom band outwards and basically that's the process now I'm just going to be looping this band inwards forwards inwards um 
forwards, outwards, inwards, inwards, forwards, inwards, oops, inwards, and then don't forget forwards first, then inwards, then outwards, then just continue um, every process. So I'm just going to be doing this process off camera and I'll be back once I'm done. So once you're done, you're just going to be looping the spin inwards and inwards. So here's what your loom should look like, of course, in your own colors, but just similar to this. And I'm just going to take it off the loom. I recommend taking off the outer parts first, then the inner ones, because the inner ones does have quite some band in it, but it's pretty easy to take it off, actually. But we are of the last one. So here's what my bracelet look like. I really, really like this design. But I don't know why every new bracelets are always longer than the bracelets I made before. It's like one length longer. Like, I'm always confused of that. Like, yeah. So, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you make this bracelet. I seriously like this bracelet. I love it so much. So, um, once again, thank you all so much. And, um, yeah, I will... See you next time. Bye.